We thought it would be awesome uh, as we celebrate baptisms. One of their classmates, Ellie, is getting baptized today, uh, that they would come and hang out with us. Friends, what a special day. It is an amazing day. First service, we got to celebrate our seniors graduating from Hope College, and we got to pray over them. We got to send them off. And today, uh, in this service, we are going to celebrate, I think, eight or nine or ten amazing stories of what the Lord is doing in people's lives. Um, so welcome to our baptism service. We believe in baptism uh, because we believe in the power of God's forgiveness and the power of God's grace. There's nothing that we can ever do to earn the power of God's forgiveness in our lives. But baptism is this symbol of, of going under a, a person who admits that they are full of sin full of brokenness, and they are coming up able to praise God for this new life that they have in Jesus, and we have some amazing stories to share. We're in this final sermon um, entitled, uh, Saved to Testify, and so we thought it would be good if uh, our friends who are getting baptized just testified about God's goodness in their life, um, and so uh, why don't we get going? You guys ready for this? Yeah? I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, so our first one to get baptized is Ellie. Come up here, girl. Uh, Ellie was so excited to get baptized. Uh, Sophie told me that she told her whole neighborhood and all of her friends to come and see uh, the power of God's grace in her life. I'm going to snag this microphone. Say hi, Ellie. Hi. <laughs> Let's go over hi. here. Let's go over here. So, Ellie, what grade are you in? I'm in fourth grade. You're in fourth grade? Awesome. And why do you want to get baptized today? I just think that God died for us, so I want to live for him. Amen to that. There we go. So, Ellie, you're going to get in the tank? Do we have a, uh, uh, Dad, I know you're recording. Okay, you got this. Awesome. So just a, a, a point for our Boulevardians here. Um, after she gets baptized, we want to celebrate with the angels. Uh, so she's going to get dunked, and then once she gets dunked, we can just celebrate like crazy. baptizing children is um, they are a perfect example to us about how God's grace is given freely. And there is nothing that you can do to understand. There's nothing that you can do to deserve God's grace. And we see that especially as our kids get baptized. Next up, we got Saveva. Saveva, you want to come up here and hang out with me? <laughs> Selena, you, you can come back here too. Why don't I hang on to your towels here? So Beba uh, wanted to share with you all, wanted to testify to you all that she is getting baptized today because she wants to start a new life with God. Can we get an amen to that?
So Selena wanted to get baptized with her daughter, and I thought that would be so special that they would do it right after um, each other. Selena, do you want to share with our church why you want to get baptized today? To live my life in God's image. Awesome. Awesome. We can celebrate that. So good. I love that um, in scripture said that when one family member got baptized, the whole family got baptized. And I love that uh, that is a perfect image of how when the Lord saves one, he saves all. And for some of us who might have some family members who are not walking with the Lord, um, I pray that you would know that you don't have to be discouraged. The Lord has timing and the Lord has a plan not only for your life, but for your family's life. Next, we got Henry. Henry, come on up here, brother man. Henry has been a guy that he's been ducking and dodging this day for, for quite some time. Um, but yesterday, uh, he had been wanting to get baptized for some time, but some things have happened in his life. And I just want you to know, bro, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so excited to see what the Lord has been doing in your life and what the Lord is going to do in your life after this day. So why do you want to get baptized? Uh, I thought it was time to change from what I used to be. So when I seen him yesterday, he was like, it's time. Well, while Henry's taking off his shoes, I just want to say Henry uh, has been coming to the boulevard pretty much since we've started um, on and off. And uh, a couple months ago when he gave his life to Jesus and he wanted to get baptized, some things happened in his life. And what I love about Henry's story is that he is just persistent. That even though at times he can get himself into some trouble or, or, or just things happen in his life where he just falls into trouble time and time again, um, he continues to come. He, he continues to be perseverant. And uh, I'm just so grateful for the ways that the Lord is shaping you. And not only for this very moment, but for the way the Lord is going to continue to shape you after this very moment. Amen. So uh, Tio is his brother. You might know Tio. I invited Tio to come up here and uh, pray for him uh, before he gets baptized. You can get in, brother. I love it. 
I love it. Kaylee, you are up, my friend. You are obviously very excited, and I know you have a word to testify today. So why are you getting baptized? She would like me to read her testimony today. I went through a very dark period in my life starting in 2018 that made me question my faith. By 2020, I was lost, afraid, and suicidal. Over time, I came to understand that Jesus was the one keeping me from falling into the pit completely. I realized that I had been loved through it all, even when I didn't deserve it. I've been through what I can only describe as hell and have made it back with Jesus gently, leading me towards home. I'm still on that journey going home, and today means so much to me. It's the, the day I'm giving my life to Jesus because my flesh and my spirit don't belong to me. They were a gift and belonging to God. And I want to honor these gifts by following God's will for my life instead of my own. I want to take a moment to thank my family and my friends for all you have done to love and support me when I didn't know how to love and support myself anymore. It's the love that's been shown to me that has helped me make it through. I felt God's love in every one of you, and I'm so thankful to be alive and to share this day with you. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be living a sanctuary for you. Amen. Kaylee came up to get prayer a couple months ago, and um, she prayed with the staff member, and um, that staff member came to our staff meeting the next day and just was so in awe of the commitment that Kaylee has made to the Lord and to the gifts um, that she has, and um, it's just been so fun to see how not only our church has come ar alongside Kaylee, but how her community has come alongside Kaylee to support her, encourage her, pray for her. Um, it's just such a testimony, not only to Kaylee's walk with the Lord, but to the people around her and how they have journeyed with her. So don't ever, don't ever, ever, ever discount yourself and reminding yourself that there's so much importance for you, checking in on your friends, praying with them, bringing them to church, and all of those other things. Uh, Sydney. You are up, my friend. That's awesome. <laughs> Cindy is another one that, I don't know, you've been coming in and around for about a year now, and um, you wanted to join our worship team, and you gave your life to Jesus, obviously before then, um, but the Lord has led you to this point, so tell us why. I wrote it down, so I won't forget. Okay. Um, 
so God has definitely saved me, saved my life with sending me my son. So after he sent me my son, I made a promise to dedicate my life to him. And after more trials and tribulations I've faced in my journey back here to Michigan, I believe it's time to take the next step in continuing um, to, follow, to follow Jesus Christ. God. Oh, Jason, you're next, brother man. Yeah. Jason, we are just getting to know each other, uh, but it's been fun to see you around the neighborhood. Um, and I just want to say, bro, I love your heart for Jesus, and I'm so excited that you're making this commitment today. Um, I know you have something to share, so. Yes, I do. Uh, Psalm 28 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Mine heart trusted in him, and I was helped. Therefore, my heart shall rejoice, and with my song I will praise him. Now, folks are just now getting to know me, but uh, I spent 30 plus years working in the rock and roll industry and the entertainment industry, and God, he's pulled me out of that. Uh, showed me the evil that was going on and everything, and as he's pulled me away from that, the devil's been fighting. Uh, I've been under attack for the last eight, nine years, and uh, it's time to extinguish some flames. brother. Oh, man, Josh, you are up, my friend. Um, and uh, a couple weeks ago, we sent out uh, mailers to our neighborhood, inviting them to our Easter service. Josh responded to one of those mailers, showed up, and he really hasn't left since. And um, I am excited 
hopefully you can share some of your story, uh, brother, because I've been encouraged by it. I would love it if our friends would be encouraged by it as well. Uh, recently, I was going through a kind of dark time, and I felt pretty lost. And uh, it was like a beacon that drew me here. And uh, I think my life has purpose, and following Jesus is going to give that purpose more meaning. And uh, actions speak louder than words, and this is the first action in that path. Yes. See you, buddy. <laughs> See you. Awesome. We have one more um, testimony. Uh, and we had planned for a little more time for this one. Uh, but unfortunately, Sarah, uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time. But I'll invite you up and invite you to share a little bit of what the Lord has put on your heart. Um, Sarah is a college student, and she was able to share... Um, a little bit longer her testimony in our first service about what the Lord has done in her life through her time in college and um, yeah so we don't we don't have time to go through it all but I want you to share whatever the Lord puts on your heart yeah. well as Pastor Ben said my name is Sarah I've been coming to Boulevard Church since I was a sophomore so it's more than half of my college career I just like to say that God's timing is perfect. In a week from today, I'll be graduating and <laughs> Bolivar Church has allowed me to grow in every aspect of my life, not just seeking God and every single Sunday and every time I get to serve here at the Boulevard, but it's honestly, if I could take one thing with me from Holland back to Chicago, it'd be the church, 100%. Uh, Sarah, yeah, we can celebrate that in Sarah's life. Sarah uh, has just been a, a huge encouragement to us as well, as well as so many others. But Sarah is always willing to serve in any way. Sarah is all, always willing to share um, just testimonies of what the Lord is doing here at the Boulevard at Hope College and in the neighborhood. Um, so we're just really grateful for you, Sarah, and we're sad to see you go, but happy you're getting baptized. <laughs> awesome.
Oh, so good. So good. Friends, the power of baptism is real, and maybe you've been baptized before in your life, and I hope that today was a good reminder of your own baptism and your own commitment that you have made to the Lord. And I hope that you know that even though at times our commitment might fail and we might not be as faithful as the Lord is faithful in our lives, that today you would just be reminded of God's grace for you. And if you don't know this grace and if you don't know this love, you can get to know him by just saying yes. So as we sing this next song, I want you to be encouraged about the power of your own testimony that you have to share with your friends, your colleagues, your coworkers, your family members. Oh, because we have been saved, friends, to testify of God's goodness in our lives. Amen? Amen. You guys can stand and sing. Me that I am saved in Christ. What a test. Can we give God a hand clap of praise for such an awesome Sunday? I'd like to call our ushers down now. As we enter into a time of giving, you can go ahead and take a seat real quick. One of our pillars here at this church is that we believe in the power of generosity. So as the collection plates go around, I just want to challenge you to think, what is God calling me to today? Scripture says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. So real quick, I am just going to pray in thanksgiving for all of the seeds sown here. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the generosity of our church. We thank you for the generosity of this community, that the seeds sown here today would return to the sower tenfold, Lord, and that we could continue to do your kingdom work to reach the lost so that they could be transformed in Christ by the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for all of the gifts that have been sown into this house on this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you all could, turn with me to the screen because we have a video that we'd like to show you. Hey, Boulevard Church, we have some really exciting news to share with you. Yes, this summer we are starting a brand new ministry called Neighborhood Hang. And the mission and vision of this ministry is to create a space for our church and our neighbors to gather and create community and connection. So starting Thursday, June 13th, I'm going to invite you and you're going to invite your friends, your family to come hang out in our parking lot where we're going to have some food, some games, and really create a place of belonging for our neighborhood to continue to discover God's love with their neighbors. I cannot wait to see you. Peace. Come hang out with us this summer. Brother, I think you got to call it in, 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 in screen time. You might be, have to think about being a news anchor or something. That was good. I like that. I like that. Two quick announcements as we prepare to, to go. First is next Sunday, we move to one service. One service next Sunday. Summer rhythm is upon us. And I think I get to preach next Sunday, so that's kind of fun. And then second one is that for all of our college students graduating, we have finals care packages back there. If, if you're graduating, if you're not, go get you your snacks, your study materials, because we're almost there. One more week, friends. One more week. <laughs> if you all could, bow your heads. Your hands are lifted as we receive this final benediction and prepare to go and be the hands and feet of Jesus. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may his face shine upon you this week, today, now, and forevermore. And may his Holy Spirit and his power transform you so that you are radiant, so that you are changed, and so that you, you know that through all things you can do Christ. You, you can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. In the name of Jesus, we give him glory, honor, and praise. Amen. With us today, you can hang out with me, brother. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna need oh, your help because oh, oh. uh, we're gonna read this. We're gonna read this verse. Um, if you weren't with us last week, we we uh, kind of said, "Hey, for the next however long, we are going to say this final verse as our final blessing." So go with these words. Will, will you read with me, brother? Yep. All right. All right. Ready? Work for the peace and prosperity of the city where I am sending you. Pray to the Lord for it, for its welfare will determine your welfare. Go in peace, y'all.